Hello Everhouse, my name is Brooks Townsend and welcome to the Escape House. This is affectionately referred to as the Escape House. Luis Herrera, who is the architect that helped me with this, I met him through Motos. We talked all the time and one day I told him about this crazy project that I had for the desert and he said, well, I'm an architect. That's how the house got built. The house has a relationship with the terrain, it has a relationship with the earth, and it has a relationship with the sky. In the mornings, the light comes up before the sun rises. It's very subtle at first, and then the sky gets more and more colorful, and then the sun pokes its head up. You sit there in the morning with coffee or your computer. It's just magical. One of the most special windows is the corner window. It started out as just simply a window, but then the more the house got further and further along, I thought, wow, you want to sit there. I designed the corner bar, basically, and then we moved the window out farther than it was originally going to be. So we had this kind of big deck where we could put a computer, well, it turns out we put the skateboards there as well. That was largely because I bought a lot of skateboards because I started thinking I was gonna collect them. Not only that, it might date me, but I had a metal wheel skateboard. <laughs> That's how old I am. But I saw one in an antique store. I had this kind of playful idea. Why don't I put skateboards? Like I'll get more of those. And then I, I did and I put them there and I just love them. I consider this kind of a jewel box. That's why the rooms are small. Each room serves its purpose, and that's it. For up here, it took quite a while to find a concrete tile that looked right. We couldn't have concrete floors like downstairs out of fears it would crack, so we found a large tile. When we were trying to figure out what to do in the bathroom, I placed one of these tiles against the wall and thought, Oh, this would be a trip if we just clad all the walls and the floor. And that's what I actually did, as well as adding a, a window at an angle so you can look at the mountain behind us while showering. It just was fun. It was a, it was a playful thing to do. Since all the windows were placed in a strategic position, we wanted to allow the light to come in from any direction, which forces you to deal with the light. You could be you know, outside with 60 miles of desert and Joshua Tree, or you could be with the rocky terrain behind you, the mountain that goes up. The master bedroom upstairs, I think it's about 12 by nine and it just barely fits a queen size bed. The closets are tiny, so you can't bring a lot of things. We try to live kind of minimalist up here. An addition to the design is what we call the Kandinsky balcony. We like the idea that in the morning, both of you could go out there and just stand in the fresh air, right there in the bedroom. And it was just kind of special and playful and you have to look up Kandinsky to get the meaning of that. The choice of materials was based on the earth, basically what the earth produces. Corten steel, which is supposed to rust very evenly. We wanted the upstairs to match the boulders and be the tone of the rocks up here. The interesting thing about the steel was, we ordered it before we started the build and it sat in the boxes for almost a year before we used them. So when we took them out, they were all rusted with a very, very unique designs. And after sitting with them, I said, we gotta stop it. We have to clear coat it now. It's really a big part of the design now. We're really excited about it. The story of how I found this spot is actually very dear to me. I was riding up here and I came across Frank, my neighbor, I go, excuse me, sir, but I just wanted to say that's super beautiful, you know, your garden. And he was very friendly. 
and I found that his wife had become ill. He said, I could use some funds to help take care of Barbara. Why don't I sell you this lot next to me? He basically became my first 80-year-old best friend. I wanted to have the two levels of the house separate. When I have friends or family, they can be in a self-contained unit. So that's what downstairs is about. It's a simple two bedroom unit. And that's the volume you see clad in court and steel from the outside. But what that required was a way to get upstairs. And so Luis came up with the idea to have this extension of the house, this arm out into the desert. The cladding for it was what I was really challenged with. And my sister, she had this one spot on her house that she used this rough hewn cedar and she stained it black. It was just the perfect combination for this house. The artwork here is very special to me. Each piece has a meaning in my life, just some ridiculous and some deeper meaning. Bart became a friend because he shot one of my cars in one of his books. I felt very honored for that. I have a piece from the past. It's an album cover and it's a, an artist that I had lunch with and he said that he was gonna open a restaurant with one item. My friend and I thought that was crazy extremely successful, it was killer shrimp. Kind of an homage to him, because that's what I ended up doing was taco joints. Cars and motorcycles are obviously a very big part of my life. I have the helmet there because we ride out here, but we also ride in a distinguished gentleman's ride, and that's what I rode that helmet for. The sculpture that was on the table, it's a gentleman that makes these giant steel sculptures that were tabletop, basically, of the designs that he did. He sold out. I talked him into making one more. It's one of my favorite pieces. Probably one of the most fun things about the project was friendships. One of the friendships is, you know, 30 years. It's my wife. This was a dream of mine. She backed me all the way. The other two people that were really involved, Frank, who I bought the property from, and Louise, my architect, when you follow your dreams and you can develop friendships like that, there's nothing better. Subscribe to the Everhouse channel by clicking on the logo to receive updates on our latest episodes.